All right, so we are going to be downloading data from the US Census Bureau uh, that we can use in mapping software such as CardoDB. So the default way you download this data, uh, you can't map it or you can't map it easily. So I'm gonna show you the tips and the tricks in order to find your data and map it. So we don't care about community facts. We don't care about guided search. We care about advanced search. Now also, uh, in order to get to the American Fact Finder website for the Census Bureau, uh, all you need to type in is factfinder.census.gov and then it redirects you to this terribly long URL. So we want to see advanced search, show me all. And now you have a somewhat confusing uh, search tool here. So I'm concerned about the different counties in the US. I'm gonna map on a per, per county basis. So the first thing I'm gonna do is refine by geography. So from the sidebar, I'm gonna click geography and there's a drop down here and there are all sorts of different geographies I could use. Um, usually you're going to use state, county, maybe census tract, maybe if you go down here a metropolitan statistical area which is just big cities. So I'm going to select county and if I were just doing this in a specific state I could select a specific state from the drop down. So let's say uh, I want to do only counties in Arizona I would click County, Arizona, and then it would give me different options down here. Uh, I want every county in the US. So I'm going back to uh, the empty select a state. I'm gonna click all counties within the United States and add to your selections. So there's that fun animation where it goes over into the sidebar. And now we are done refining geography, so we can click close. Now we need to figure out what our map is going to be about. Uh, I'm going to do one about uh, income across the U.S. So, start to type income, um, and it suggests a few different uh, things to me. These are different tables. Uh, these, I believe, are categories. So, I think maybe household income sounds interesting. I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to click go. And this is new. Uh, they suggest a few different uh, fun, good uh, tables for you to go through. So income in the past 12 months sounds pretty good for me. Selected economic characteristics is a good one, but it's actually too big to put into CardoDB. So just going to go income in the past 12 months, click through, it loads it up, and you see that every single uh, row here is, this is, let's say, the, the number of people in each one, median income in dollars is right there. Um, blah, 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 the number of or percent of people in each one of these brackets. Uh, and if you go this way, you see that all of the columns are different counties. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different columns uh, just for um, Altaga County, Alabama. Um, this is what we want to have happen is we would like to have every single row be a different county. Um, additionally, we are not looking at margin of error right now, and uh, margin of error will actually double the size of our table. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of margin of error, which makes me sound like a bad person. But all right, modify table. You're going to click that here, and then there's a little filter button here. So click filter. And then it says, so you're clicking the filter one that's right next to the word estimate. So filter, display columns where it's one of the following, and we want estimate, we don't want margin of error. So we'll do a little bit of loading, and there we go. Um, it filters out the margin of errors. The other thing that we want to have happen is we want every county to be a row, not a column. So what we need to do is somehow switch these columns here into being rows. And the way we do that is we go up here and we click transpose rows slash columns. And there we go. That was easy, right? Um, so now every county has a few different, uh, different guys here. Um, and the column, each one is uh, the number. So let us export this. We're going to go to download. And this is very important. Data and annotations and separate files and uncheck include descriptive data element names. So it's going to be a CSV. 
don't click any of the stuff down here. Make sure you have data and annotations in separate files selected and include descriptive data element names unselected. We're going to click OK. It's going to do a little bit of processing for us. We will click download and it will save us a zip file. So inside of this zip file, uh, there are several different files. Um, the, let's see, let's open the CSV first. Well, they're all CSVs, but this CSV here, uh, if you look at all of the column names, they're very, 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 very confusing. Uh, these are not the words that we saw on the Census Bureau site. These are not total. These are not less than 10,000, 10,000 to, you know, 14,999. Um, these are crazy, crazy titles. And the way to know what those mean is to actually go into this metadata. And the metadata will tell you what every single one of those categories means. Um, and then you can just take this data, uh, import it right into CartoDB. Um, you're probably going to merge it with a county's shapefile just by using the GeoID over here. And that's about it. Uh, you have successfully downloaded some data from the uh, Census Bureau.